Dobri večer, damo i gospoda, i dobro požalovat na moj kanal. So, recently I have watched a certain video from uh, Brody Robertson and I quite agreed what he said. Wayland is being forced on me. I hate Wayland. Stop forcing me to use it. Yeah, well, I have agreed with his overall video so much so that I really, really wanted to dunk a little bit, uh, not in a negative way, I, I really want to agree with the man uh, because um, it is how things work in the uh, free software communities. And what I'm talking about is the fact that well, when GNOME decided to leave X11 behind and um, spend all their resources on Wayland session development, a lot of users were half mad and half ran away towards KD Plasma, which promised to um, support X11 a little bit more. But it wasn't just clear how much that is going to last. And it turns out it lasted really short. It is what it is. Uh, the thing that you can most probably expect uh, from the most popular distributions, such as Debian, uh, you are like this is my educated guess you are going to get um, the KD version which supports X11 in Debian 14. It might be a little bit of a clutch moment in terms of when uh, KD without X11 is going to release. Uh, it's very close to Debian 14 freeze. It might be this version or that version, but in my opinion, Debian will not go with the version that is like um, 6.8.0 or something like that. They will go with the one that, that is the previous version that is already fully patched. So it could be more bug free in the long run, like in the next five years, uh, how much Debian 14 is going to last. So Debian 14 comes out in the uh, 2027 summer and you are going to be able to use it for the following five years after that. So this alone already gives you, I, I'm, I'm mentioning Debian, first of all, I'm a Debian user, second of all, it's one of the greatest distributions out there and probably the best out there uh, when it comes to uh, no corporate influence, at least not the direct one. And um, like, as I said, it's a community distribution, it's a stable one, it's fantastic for servers, for desktop, for everything, it just works and for the next five years, you absolutely can use whatever is on that distribution. If the version of the KD that will ship uh, in 2027 20, with the Debian 14 is good for you, you can continue using it with all of the security patches for a lot of years, five years. And um, the remainder of like I'm I'm gonna be a parrot today and I don't do this I have never done this previously in my 300 plus videos so far I have never made a video that is like a copy of someone else's video it's all my original content however this one is a little bit different simply because I have been talking about X11 uh, two days ago and now Brody made a, uh, it's not a similar video, but it feels like he attached his opinion not on top of my video. I'm not saying that he was influenced by my video, but he might have been because a lot of um, talks around X11 are now going on and people are kind of mad at KD for dropping X11, for disappointing them, for betraying them, you know, and it's not really like that because if you have watched my video from two days ago, you will see that I have been talking about how um, problems with X11 that still exist and uh, will probably continue existing um, could be solved on this or that way and the best way to deal with um, uh, keeping X11 for as long as possible in as 
good as possible shape is by helping with the development but it's not just you know if you're a user you might point your fingers towards ex libre you know ex libre is going to save us all and we are putting all our uh, fate into ex libre and then they are going to disappoint you because they will not do something that you have expected them to do uh, such as my main reason for using Wayland my main reason for using Wayland is DPI scaling uh, separate from uh, two of my monitors I, I have different DPI scaling on the left dip different DPI scaling on the right a different resolution different screen sizes different refresh rates um, the Wayland KD session handles this ex exquisite it, it just works you don't have to think about it it's excellent uh, on the X11 side it's not that good and people keep pointing me to the X Libre side try X Libre try X Libre you know what I'm going to try X Libre I'm going to try it in one of my next videos and then you're going to learn um, why this doesn't work it's something that the X server developers cannot fix x11 protocol designers might be able to do something about it but who is even listening to uh, who is even reading x11 protocol anymore uh, I, certainly not gnome and kd so what needs to be done in order to fix the dpi scaling problems on x11 is not on the x server side it is actually on the window manager side uh, for example kd but kd is now leaving so either you can fork kd and fix that yourself or you can um, patch the um, cute toolkit and gtk toolkit and uh, whatever toolkit and um, maybe you can make your own desktop environment which does what it needs to be done and <laughs> it's, it, it's a lot of work i know i know but this is the the freedom of linux uh, pretty much what brody was talking about the freedom of linux gives you the power to not use gnome because you don't like it the power of linux gives you freedom to not use kde because you no longer like it <laughs> you no longer um yeah, you can fork it. It's it's a difficult job. I'm aware of that. But if you want to really, really help X11 in the long run, whatever long means, you need to do something about it, something tangible. Learn programming. Start working on it. And I'm not even joking. I am going to be the first one who is going to try to do something. Um, but my powers are really, really limited. I'm a developer programmer beginner noob or whatever you want to call me i am just learning and god knows how much it will take me to learn how to do basic things and when i learn i will help some project that i think i can influence in whatever way but this is going to be something tiny uh, so if you are a really good programmer maybe you can affect something maybe you know, maybe the ex Libre developers can give us some guidelines on how to best help in resolving uh, this issue or this issue or this issue. There must be an honest list of what needs to be fixed in order for us to continue using X11. Maybe we're all going to throw away both KD and GNOME and make the completely new desktop environment from scratch uh, which is going to be maybe it doesn't have to be from scratch maybe we can just use um, xfce that one is pretty good like a really good code base and um, develop on that you know th that desktop environment actually has some good base and on top of it you can't build on top of it um, it, it's not cute based but you know it th that that shouldn't matter you can patch any toolkit you want if you have the know-how so the entirety of what I wanted to say with this whole video is that I really think as just as I said in my previous video this is not the continuation of um, Brody's video this is a continuation of my own video from two days ago I really think that all of us who have any love for X11 
should invest in some way into its development and um, when i say x11 i don't mean x libra i mean the whole package and the whole package is not just x server meaning x libra or xorg xorg let's say that that one is dead so let's say that x libra is the future of the x11 but that's just one component there must be the toolkits that make your windows have any kind of appearance and then you need to have a window manager that uh, understands or maybe talks to the x server about where the window currently is um, how much scaling should be dynamically applied uh, these are all components that need to talk together and this is something that x11 protocol should be uh, doing and now we might be getting a little bit closer to something that we could be brave enough to label x as x12 but you know just as the original author who made x um called it x and there, there was x1 2 3 whatever uh x10 x11 um we i i mean nobody can really stop us from calling it x12 because free desktop org doesn't care they they really don't care they will just you know let it be if you are like a rebel who doesn't want to um hang out with them anymore because they don't want to hang out with you that is fine i mean nobody can really stop you from developing free software this is the beauty of free software uh because what is free desktop who who, who gives a, who gives a damn about them what what are they here even for yesterday they were here to make peace between kd and gnome to help them work together and, and make it less jarring for their users uh, to have somewhat compatible software uh, that was yesterday and now they are like some kind of gods who um, force it like down your throat and you know you now have to use wayland you don't have to use wayland nobody is going to force you to use wayland just drop kd drop uh, gnome drop hyperland don't use any of those uh, and let's see what we can do i'm, I'm not joking whatsoever maybe brody is going to use um, wayland exclusively maybe dt is going to use x11 exclusively um, maybe whoever you watch on youtube or whatever uh, platform is going to use whichever one of these two but nothing matters it doesn't matter what i use it, all it matters is what you want to use and just continue using it if you think open mandriva is not good enough for you and i personally think it is very good uh but for some reason if that one is not good enough for you um maybe find some other distribution that is high tier uh in terms of quality that will give you that um tier one um x11 experience and uh, from that point onward you are good to go you're going to have your x11 experience for a long time uh, as long as you stick to that particular distribution whose developers also care about the things that you care and you're like a match in heaven you know and as i said maybe there is room for making another desktop environment which will concentrate more on x um, exclusively but in the long run there needs to be an honest list of what is wrong with x and these things need to be fixed one by one and it's not going to be all on x libre developers you, you just cannot force them to do your bidding uh, the way that you have dreamed about because dreams are not the reality yeah you know the reality is that you have to uh pull your sleeves and uh, start coding thank you very much for watching my video today uh give it a like subscribe drop me some money on coffee i'm gonna be thankful to you just like i'm thankful to all these uh good people who are already supporting me and you're going to see uh, their names any moment now thank you and goodbye